Got all the time in the world. You don't, but I do. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unscripted Denzel Washington movie moments. Yes. Let the black man separate from his house. That's Let the black man have his own house. Yes. Let the black man have his own land yes. and his own property. Yes. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most impressive ad lib performances of Denzel Washington, an actor famous for his improvisation. Do you agree with our improvised list? Say yes and comment below. Number 10, Leek Gilliam, Mo Better Blues. Mo Better Blues is a dramedy about jazz musicians in New York City. Denzel stars as Bleak Gilliam, a jazz trumpeter and bandleader. The film follows Bleak's trials and tribulations in friendship, love, music, and business. Director Spike Lee shot and directed the film to mimic jazz's free-flowing style. He let his actors feel the rhythm and improvise constantly. As an actor famous for his improvisational style, this let Denzel shine. One scene at the heart of the film is a debate over the nature of jazz. Right, right. This is our music, right? Jazz is our music. Black music. Right? Here's people, we will go and watch some crossover uh, stuff that's created by other people, but we don't even come to see Take our own, man. Us. Denzel and Wesley Snipes argue over their audience, their community, and their music. The personal and the political collide with great ad-lib performances. Ain't nobody listening. People are you got listening a voice. to my voice. Ain't I'm nobody just coming. That, what are you talking about? Nobody. Hey, you just said. You just said. Tight. I didn't say nobody's coming. Yo. I said our people aren't coming. Number nine, Bobby Balls, Two Guns. The 2013 action comedy Two Guns may not be Denzel's best-known movie, but it's a wild ride. So, you in or you out? I'm in, yeah. Both he and co-star Mark Wahlberg are known for going off book. Their chemistry is off the charts hilarious. In an interview with Collider, the pair couldn't really remember how much of what we saw was scripted or not. Saw that move coming? That's correct. Give me the keys. Damn, you're good. In the film, Denzel plays Bobby Balls, an undercover DEA agent. Deep into the movie, Bobby gets captured by a corrupt CIA operative played by Bill Paxton. Bobby's name is put to the test as his crotch is forced into a game of Russian roulette. That's an improvised scene that's hard to forget. AKA Bobby Balls. Clean and shape. <laughs> Number 8. Detective Keith Frazier, Inside Man. By 2006, Spike Lee and Denzel Washington had developed an easy rapport. Inside Man was their fourth team up, and it shows. Spike just lets Denzel be Denzel. Sergeant Collins, first on scene. The hostage negotiator. That's right, Detective Frazier, this is Detective Mitchell. What do you got? Through the many twists and turns of the plot, Detective Keith Frazier rolls with the punches, despite being a high concept heist movie. Spike doesn't shy away from tackling race. In one scene, Detective Frazier interviews a Sikh victim of the bank robbery. I'm not talking to anybody without a turban. It's part of my religion, to cover my head in respect to God. I'm a Sikh. Okay, we'll find your turban. Not an Arab, by the way, like your cops no. called me outside. Inside Man was shot in New York only a few years after 9-11, and the film doesn't hide from Islamophobia. Frazier and Vikram commiserate over racial profiling in an incisive but funny unscripted moment. I, really lost I my bet job. you can get a cab, though. I guess that's one of the perks. <laughs> Put the ice on your face. Number 7. Robert McCall, The Equalizer 2. Movies and TV shows like Jack Reacher and John Wick feature heroes that are forces of nature. There are two kinds of pain in this world. When they come for you, they strike with the fury and thunder of a storm. Denzel's character Robert McCall does much the same in the Equalizer movies with one difference. McCall presents a quiet and calm threat. What you do, what you become is not my concern. The world is full of so-called men like you, and in a perfect world, Everything we do comes with a price. He has a steady but terrifying presence. Director Anton Fuqua, a frequent collaborator, had much praise for Denzel's ad-libbing. In The Equalizer 2, there's a chilling scene where McCall tells all his former comrades that he plans to kill them. The mistake you made was you killed my friend. So, I'm gonna kill each and every one of you, and the only disappointment in it for me is that I only get to do it once. Denzel's improvised delivery is as casual as placing a breakfast order. It's a moment that should chill the bad guys as much as it does the audience. Number 6. Nat Serling, Courage Under Fire Denzel Washington once described improvisation as finding out who you are as a character in the moment. Sir, I just wanted to let you know that this is not just a rubber stamp situation. That approach fit perfectly with his 1996 film Courage Under Fire. In a Rashomon-style movie, he plays an army officer tasked with finding the truth. The first Medal of Honor to be awarded to a woman for combat is at stake. Each member of her squad tells a different version of the story, and Denzel must wade through the lies. All the while, he's burdened by guilt. He accidentally killed the fellow tank officer in a friendly fire incident. God help me. I, um... Yeah, I killed him. In one of the final scenes of the movie, he tells the man's family the truth. Denzel's approach lends the scene a heartbreaking realism. 
as far as the... As far as that night, um, I guess there's no way that uh, I could even begin to ask you to forgive me. Number five, Jake Shuttlesworth, he got game. And he got game Denzel stars as Jake Shuttlesworth, a temporarily released convict. His son, played by NBA star Ray Allen, is a top basketball prospect. The governor offers Jake full release if he can convince his son to attend the governor's alma mater. The wrinkle, Jake was convicted of killing his wife. People make mistakes. People veer off the path. So what? God forgives them. Has God forgiven you for killing my I mother? I pray that he has, son. I believe he has. When will you? The film centers around the tension between father and son. In one scene, Jake and Allen's Jesus play a one-on-one -on -one pickup game. I'll play you. One on one to 11. Originally, Jesus was supposed to win 11 to nothing, but Denzel practiced working with his left side game in secret. On the day, he shocked Ray Allen with his left handed skills and scored a few points. Oh, yeah! Who taught you that one? The struggle between them on the court became emblematic of their emotional journey. Number four, Joe Miller, Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the first and only time Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington worked together. It's good to see you again, counselor. Judge Tate, Kendall Construction. Innocu. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? It's the story of a lawyer, Hanks, fired for having AIDS and being gay. Denzel plays Hanks' lawyer in a lawsuit against his old firm. The film netted Hanks' first Oscar for Best Actor. When interviewed years later by the Irish Times, Hanks was effusive with praise for his co-star. I sat beside him for three weeks shooting the trial, he said. It was a thriller of an acting class. He follows no rules but pursues the moment. When they fired Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS, they broke the law. Over the course of the trial, Denzel's character comes to terms with his own bigotry. He uses that journey to fuel an incredible improvised performance. And how that climate of hatred and fear. Number three, Malcolm X. Malcolm X. When Spike Lee offered the role of Malcolm X to Denzel Washington, the actor took it seriously. He told his agent that he would take no other works for a year. He learned Arabic, he stopped drinking and eating pork, Denzel dedicated himself fully to the part. The result, according to Spike, is that Denzel somehow channeled the spirit of the civil rights leader. And after America has long passed from the scene, there will still be black people. In one scene, Malcolm is giving a speech to the crowd. Before Spike could yell cut at the end of the speech, Denzel kept going for another few minutes. Yeah, I'm just here to tell you, and I'm going to make it very short. Come on. Preach, brother. Preach I'm here on. to tell you about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's greatest greatness. Spike asked the actor where it all came from, and Denzel's answer? I don't know. And the stuff that he said was better than Malcolm's words. Number two, Private Trip, Glory. Denzel Washington won his first Oscar for Glory playing Private Trip a runaway slave who joins the Union Army. There are two ad-lib scenes that help secure Denzel's win. In the campfire scene, the soldiers in the unit sing together and give unscripted speeches in preparation for a battle. Y'all's the only family I got. The fear and love for his brothers is written all over Private Trip's face. Ain't much a matter what happens tomorrow, but we men ain't. The other is one of the most memorable scenes in Denzel's career. Private Trip is unfairly flogged, crying only a single tear. As it turns out, director Edward Zwick told the off-camera actor to whip Denzel until he found it. Unfortunately, Zwick neglected to tell Denzel. Though Washington undoubtedly found it, it's a moving moment born out of dubious ethics. Yeah, you in real school now, don't you? What you gonna do, cry? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Alonzo, Training Day Detective Alonzo Harris is arguably one of the darkest roles in Denzel Washington's career. It netted him an Academy Award for Best Actor. Alonzo is a corrupt cop who rules his streets with an iron fist. Today's a training day, Officer Hoyt. Show you around, give you a taste of the business, you know? Drugs, guns, gangs, and money are the cornerstones of Alonzo's world. His trainee, Ethan Hawke's Jake, manages to overcome the odds to foil Alonzo's plans. Training Day was the first of several collaborations between Washington and director Antoine Fuqua. Fuqua learned quickly to let Denzel do his thing. The result, when everything falls to pieces around him, Alonzo gives his infamous King Kong speech. You think you can do this to me? Much of it, including the famous line, was off book. It's since become one of the most iconic speeches in movie history. King Kong ain't got s on me! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.